previous sessions, we built the concept of events in a day by informing our students that most activities that we do in a day are directly related to the time. We implemented the zero investment innovative idea of what's in the picture to build this concept. Moving forward in this session, we will use the same idea to explain the concept of sequencing the events in a day. We will make use of the picture cards that we have arranged previously. To start with, conduct an interactive activity by initiating a discussion among the students. First, display these picture cards to the students. The picture cards include a girl getting up with the rising sun, girl wearing school uniform at home and having milk and biscuits, girl eating dinner with other members of the family, girl sitting in the classroom, a girl studying at home, girl sleeping in the bed with a moon seen in the sky, girl playing in the park, girl listening to stories from her grandmother. Instruct the students to carefully observe all the picture cards. After the students are done observing, inform them that today we are going to arrange these picture cards in a sequence. To initiate the sequencing activity, we will first need to ask some questions. Ask the students to identify the picture card that displays the activity which all of them do the first in a day. Students will point to the picture card of the girl getting up with the rising sun. Place this picture card first in the sequence which we are building. Following this, ask the students to spot the picture card which can be placed second in the sequence. Students will possibly point at the picture card of the girl wearing the school uniform at home and having milk and biscuits. Align the mentioned picture card second in the sequence. Ask the students to point out the picture card that should come third in the sequence. Students will possibly point to the picture card of the girl sitting in the classroom. Align the picture card third in the sequence. In the same way, continue ask questions to the students and align the pictures in the sequence. After the sequence is completed, it will look like this. First will be the picture card of the girl getting up with the rising sun. Second will be the girl wearing her school uniform at home and having milk and biscuits. Third comes the girl sitting in the classroom. Fourth will be the girl studying at her home. Fifth would be the girl playing in the park in the evening. Sixth will be the girl having her dinner with other family members. Seventh will be the girl listening to stories from her grandmother. And last would be the girl sleeping in bed with the moon in the sky. Conclude by repeating the sequence by pointing out to each picture card. Getting up early in the morning when the sun rises. Eating breakfast. Going to school to study. Studying and doing homework at home. Going to play in the park in the evening. Eat food with the whole family at night. Listening to bedtime stories from grandparents. Sleeping at night. With this, we come to the end of our first period. From the next session onwards, we will begin the period 2 of the lesson Time. Stay tuned.